The iPhone 13 and 13 Pro are Apple's latest smartphones and they are some of the best devices on the market today. But you may be wondering, what are some cool accessories that could make this phone even better? In this video, we'll take a look at some of the best accessories to pair with your new iPhone 13. With a new phone, it's secondhand nature to get some things to protect it. A case is one of the simplest ways to protect your phone, and Apple has released new MagSafe cases for the iPhone 13 in different colorways. In case you didn't know, MagSafe, in its simplest definition, is a magnetic plate on the back of your phone that securely locks to whatever MagSafe compatible accessory you're attaching to. There are different designs from various manufacturers online that you can get for even more protection or style. The case quickly snaps into place and fits snugly over your phone without adding bulk. An iPhone 13 Pro Max leather case with MagSafe costs $59, and the silicon and clear cases cost $49. So, why a MagSafe case over just a regular case? If you want to attach more accessories on your phone, MagSafe allows just that. You can snap on a wide variety of useful things for an all-in-one and secure fit. If you want to check out all these accessories online, I'll leave links in the description box down below for all these items. An iPhone screen is fairly scratch resistant, but it wouldn't hurt to add a layer of protection to your phone screen. Made with tempered glass and durability rated at 9H hardness, which means the screen can resist scratches from the sharpest objects, the Spigen Easy Fit glass screen can be your go-to screen protector. I've been using it on my iPhone 12s and on the 13. A 2-pack from Amazon includes an innovative auto-alignment installation kit for effortless application and costs about $15.99. As you can see, it doesn't compromise the sleekness of my phone, giving me maximum image clarity and ultimate touchscreen sensitivity. What makes the glass screen protectors different from plastic ones? A glass screen protector enhances your usability experience as your fingers glide more smoothly. And if you're not a fan of excessive fingerprints and oil smudges like me, then definitely go for glass. It's no news that buying a separate charger is a must if you're using any of the models from the iPhone 12 and iPhone 13 series. Apple offers a 20 watt power adapter that's compatible with any USB-C enabled device. And here's what it looks like. It's larger in size compared to the old 5 watt adapter. Buying this is optional, especially if you have the working classic Apple adapter. But it's fast, delivering 20 watts as opposed to 5 watts, and has efficient charging for optimal performance. This Apple adapter from Apple costs $19, and yeah, charging cable not included, but your phone comes with one. You can find alternatives online such as Anchor, Belkin, or RavPower, which are all around the same price and provide equal charging capabilities. iPhones come with a charging cable of their own, and while that's great to start, many of you longtime users know that the cable begins to wear and tear pretty fast, and it's kind of short. Investing in a good, solid charging cable is one of the easiest and most useful upgrades you can make. This one here is from Mandobil, which is USB-C to Lightning, and it's a military-grade nylon braided charging cable. It has fast charging from 20 watts up to 96 watts, depending on your adapter. They come in 6 feet in length, so you have more room to use with your phone while charging at the same time. It also comes with a cable clip, so you can attach it anywhere and keep things tidy and this little cable tie to wrap it up to take with you on the go. At $17 compared to Apple's $19, that's only 3 feet, I'd say this is the better choice. Speaking of chargers, one of the game changers is Apple's MagSafe wireless charger. This charger makes charging simple and easy in a snap, and it can provide faster wireless charging up to 15 watts. The MagSafe charger is cheap charging compatible, so it can be used to wirelessly charge your iPhone 8 or later as well as AirPod models with a wireless charging case, as you would with any Qi certified charger. You might wonder, does it beat a lightning cable? Take note that a MagSafe charger charges a little bit slower than a lightning cable, which can charge up to 20 watts. Also, the magnetic alignment experience only applies to the iPhone 12s and iPhone 13 series. If you prefer wireless charging, then this $39 MagSafe charger is for you. So what makes this item great then? Since it's MagSafe, there's a bunch of accessories that turn this simple charger into a holder, like this stand. You can have your phone sitting upright and read incoming messages, notifications, or watch a show while you work on the computer. 
This one's from Spigen and it costs $20. I like this stand because it's sturdy while still being able to fold and toss into your bag. Another charging accessory that's worth mentioning is the Apple MagSafe battery pack. This is Apple's third run at designing an external battery solution for the iPhone, but its first MagSafe version. So let's take a look at its pros and cons. On the plus side, it's compact and comes in one color option, which is white. It perfectly aligns with my iPhone 13 Pro Max and iPhone 13 hassle-free. It also has automation, so you don't need to worry about turning it on or off. So what's the catch? Well, it doesn't provide a full charge for any iPhone 12 or 13 model. Other battery packs like Mophie, Anchor, Hyperjuice, Belkin, charge to full. But you sacrifice the portability as they can be quite large. Apple has been transparent on its website that it can only give up to 40% additional charge with the iPhone 12 and 13 Pro Max, and up to 60% on the 12, 13, and Pro versions. The Mini gets up to 70%. The MagSafe battery pack costs $99. I must admit that I find a battery pack really useful, especially when I'm out of the house. This battery pack is definitely designed for someone on the go who wants to top up their iPhone's battery life and still be able to fit into your pocket. As a bonus, it can also charge your AirPods. Although a $59 magnetic wallet raised some eyebrows, it's undeniable that the newest version of the iPhone leather wallet looks great with its sleek exterior and it has a new Find My feature. I have one here in the color Midnight, which is in this nice black European leather. The wallet features strong built-in magnets that allow it to effortlessly snap into place on the back of my iPhone 13s. Functionality-wise, it can be pretty useful in carrying around your cards. The big plus of this is now it supports Find My, so you can be notified of your wallet's last known location if it gets separated from your phone. If you prefer going out with just your phone and wallet in hand, then this Apple MagSafe wallet is worth the penny. With the world slowly opening back up again, it's nice to get out for a change. For lots of people, myself included, I use maps on my phone for directions. One of the best upgrades I could make is a car map. This one here is by Andobel. Literally all it does is hold your phone up while driving. Pretty simple, right? Well, this thing has some tricks up its sleeve that I haven't seen in any other car map. It has this silicon that helps stabilize your phone so your screen isn't vibrating while you're driving around. And it doesn't scratch up your phone no matter how big it is, even with the case on. But best of all is it extends, making it fully adjustable. It's those tiny little things that make this car holder great. For $25, I'd say this is worth it, and it comes with different attachments if you prefer mounting on your vent or the secure plate on your dashboard. Another accessory you can add to your Apple inventory is the Apple Watch SE. The most efficient thing in having an Apple Watch is it can sync and complete your Apple ecosystem, which relatively means it can help you out and optimize your life. On your wrist is a smartwatch that has an optical heart rate sensor, always on alternator, and fall detection. It can also unlock your phone or computer, control your music while you're running or working out without having to grab your phone, give you a preview on your messages, give you access to Siri, act as navigation when getting directions with Apple Maps, and the list goes on. One of the relevant features that I use is the unlock with Apple Watch, which allows me to use my Apple Watch SE to unlock my phone when wearing a mask. And it's the easiest and cheapest way to use Apple Fitness, which needs an Apple Watch. In comparison, the latest Apple Watch Series 7 has, of course, more advanced features like measuring your blood oxygen and taking an ECG. But if you're someone who doesn't require much expanded health features and just needs an essential smartwatch, then this 279 Apple Watch SE is a great way to start. One of the best accessories hands down are AirPods. Some good reasons why AirPods are worth the hype are because they're easy to use, lightweight, reliable, offer amazing sound quality, and are extremely portable. The sound quality for earbuds of this size is absolutely incredible, and they're so tiny. And if you have the AirPods Pro, the active noise cancellation is great if you're working out and listening to songs and don't want to be disturbed. They compare seamlessly to your iPhone, iPad, Mac, and Apple TV. It just works, and it works great. AirPods 2 are a great way to start at 129, Apple just announced the AirPods 3, which gives you more battery life, spatial audio, and a MagSafe charging case. At the highest is the AirPods Pro, which can justify its $249 price tag as an equal noise-canceling pair of headphones just like the Bose QC35. 
which costs just about the same. Plus, Apple just recently updated the charging case to a MagSafe charging case, so it snaps on to the MagSafe charger. So if you're on the fence about getting one, you just lucked out, since you can't buy the case separately. With a new iPhone, always come some new accessories and cool gadgets. Even some of the old accessories still work and will serve their use for years to come. In case you missed it, you can watch my iPhone 13 and 13 Pro unboxing videos. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all our latest videos. Which accessory do you think you'll be picking up? Let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.